Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to start my presentation today with a question. Who invented the light bulb? Al Gore. <laughs> no, Dad, that was the internet. All right, second chance. Who invented the light bulb? Tommy Edison. Thomas Edison, correct. I was hoping for sort of a resounding answer on that one. And this one, a little bit quieter. Who invented the light shade? It was a woman named Claire Driscoll. And today, the light shade is working with the light bulb to bring light to almost every room we are in at any given moment. And that is why it is so important to encourage the partnership of men and women to move innovation forward. We are in a world today where the pace of change is astronomical. And we want to continue as a nation to lead in that change through innovation as we always have. But still today, while women make up 50% of the population, they make up only 7.5% of the patent holders. That's a big gap. So what I want to do is take you through kind of a personal journey and then talk about some of the key characteristics that I know you'll recognize in the women that touch your lives every day that also help us to improve innovation. So take a moment and think about a woman who's influenced you in innovation. While you do that, I'll tell you about my story. For me, it's my mother. When I was about five or six, I decided that it would be really wonderful to cure cancer. And my mom said, why not? And she pulled a stool over to our kitchen sink, allowed me to climb up, filled it with water, and then gave me full range to put whatever else I wanted to put in there in order to cure cancer. I put in a little vinegar, some baking soda, a little bit of sugar, because that was fun. We mixed it all together. And I haven't cured cancer yet. But I have gained this sense of wonderment, exploration, ability to innovate that I get to use every day in my job in the telecommunications and internet industry. And that is an industry where they are actively seeking people who know how to think differently, think outside the box, and communicate those ideas. Now let's talk about what women can really bring to the table for you and all of your organizations and innovations. The first is they can reimagine things that already are. And as I was doing my research for this presentation, I came along across a woman named Admiral Grace Hooper. And Grace Hooper worked with a bunch of computer engineers who had designed the coding language with the ones and the zeros to say, that's fabulous, but we absolutely have to have a language that more people can use and understand. And she led the way to create the first round of coding that we now use today as the basis of things like HTML5, which allows you, right now, to get out a smartphone or your computer and quickly build a website. The second. Women help to capture trends. This is one where I often like to go to the fashion world and think about one of my favorite designers, Kate Spade. And Kate Spade is out there you know, in this world of fashion where we've got all kinds of different opportunities, creating a new brand, a new look, and one that is now known across the world. What other trends can we capture? What's happening in the world of automobiles? What's happening in the world of computers? And how might a woman think about that a little bit differently? Thirdly, we challenge the status quo. First and foremost, often we do this simply by being in the room. In 2015, I am amazed at the number of times that I walk into a room and I am the only woman. So just by being there, we're challenging the status quo. But because we get this unique opportunity, we also have the ability to really step up to the plate and say, I know it's always been done this way, but what if we just tried this way and we find something totally new and different? 
And fourth, we build and sustain active and vibrant networks. When I think about this one, my favorite is to really go back to the mother dropping her child off at school on the first day. And she's brought that child to school, first day of first grade, supported by a strong network that she's maintained. Friends from childhood, friends from college, friends from work, family members. And then she gets that kid to school, and so often the first thing they do is jump in and join the PTO and begin to build new networks at school. And this isn't to say that men don't do any of this as well. In fact, I would never have won the biggest candy bar raffle if it wasn't for my dad helping me sell magazines through his network. So when we think about all four of these things, you'll recognize them in the men that you work with, live with, play with as well. But they really are innate characteristics that women have honed and will bring to the table, and we must have those. If we can innovate together, we will be able to continue to lead and to move through this pace of change with a sense of style, ease, and grace, so that together we will continue to truly light the world. Thank you.